Hello guys and welcome to today's episode where we will solve the smaller problem called Word. As always, I will start with reading the problem to you. Messiah is very upset that many people on the net mix uppercase and lowercase letters in one word. That's why he decided to invent an extension for his favorite browser that would change the letters register in every word so that it either only consists of lowercase letters or vice versa only of uppercase ones. At that, as little as possible letters should be changed in a word. For example, the word house must be replaced with house. So here the uppercase and here all lowercase. And the word VIP with two uppercase, one lowercase, with VIP with three uppercase. If a word contains an equal number of uppercase and lowercase letters, you should replace all the letters with lowercase ones. For example, matrix should be replaced by a matrix with all lowercase. The task is to use the given method on one given word. So our input is the first line contains the word S, it consists of uppercase and lowercase letter letters and possess the length from 1 to 100. Output a printed corrected word S. If the given word S has 50 more uppercase letters, make the word written in the uppercase uh, register otherwise in the lowercase one. Okay, so here you can see um, the examples and I would say we just start with writing a few comments down. So first of all, it's the problem 59a. It's called word. Um, okay, and our goal is um, word words in upper case or lower case. Okay, so um, the algorithm behind it. What do we need to do? So first of all, we will read an input. Our S or our word. Let's call it S back in here. Um, read input S. Um, the next is we have to find out um, if there is at least 50% of the, um, the letters are lowercase. Find out if at least 50% of S is lowercase. Um, if yes, if yes, print in lowercase, if no, print in uppercase. Okay. I think this is all we need for it. And I would say we just start uh, with it. Um, I will change in the code. I think uh, this with not finding at least 50% of uh, lowercase, but I will go for uppercase. But um, let's just start. So first of all, we want to read our input. Um, we stay here with a string, um, and then I will need the length of S because I will check if at least 50% uh, um, or uh, at least 50% of the letters are lowercase later on. And um, we will have a counter that will initialize with zero. Um, this counter we will set up if we find an um, uppercase letter. So um, now we go through the letters in our um, input S. So first in S, if the letter is between uppercase A 
and smaller than uppercase Z we have our counter increased by one. Okay, how I said before, I will not look for the last case, but um, we'll make an um, if uh, statement soon. So we find out here how many uppercase letters there are available. And with this, we can easily check if our counter is bigger than L divided by 2. So if it's more than a half of our length. Then we will print our word in uppercase uh, or s in uppercase. Um, I think this is not the case. We will print our s in lowercase. Okay, so I think this should be it. We will test it. Uh, we have house. That is in lowercase. We have our VIP. That is in uppercase. And now let's check the matrix. This is in lowercase. Okay. So I think here we have the code we need. Let's try to submit it. And we will see it was accepted. So, um, what is interesting in this case? Um, I think the most interesting part is um, this here. So, checking if a letter is uppercase. Um, we could uh, change this um, by checking if it's a lowercase. Let's just do this once again and go then through the examples in here. So we say if it's between A and C, um, then we increase our counter. And now we need to change this to um, bigger or equal because given here that for example matrix should be replaced by matrix because of if a word contains an equal number of uppercase and lowercase letters you should replace all the letters with lowercase ones and then we take here the lower and the upper one so if we print here it's house if it's vip then it's or in uppercase, and if we have the matrix, it's in lowercase. So we can do this uh, like this here too. So this is an interesting construct, in my point of view, um, on how to check if something is a uh, uh, lowercase letter. Okay, that's it for today. Um, thank you for watching the video. If you like it, um, please give it a thumb up. If you have any questions, any comments, any improvements, just write me in the comments. See you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.